Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Hello, welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal, aka the Dark Magician. Please have a seat. Today I will be talking about Ethan Klein and his apologies for a segment that he had on a podcast recently. Now, Ethan started off talking about James Charles and how James Charles had the pins in his Amazon cart. Now, from there, Ethan connected that to James being a power bottom, which feeds into a stereotype of effeminate men being you know, bottoms. This is, uh, in my opinion, um, a bad take and a bad road to go down just because it is a stereotype and no one likes to be stereotyped. In all marginalized groups over the years, we've worked to, you know, break away from stereotypes, whether it be sexual, sexual orientation, race, religion, anything with the stereotype, you know, it's best not to go down those roads. Now, fast forward within the same segment, you know, he invited, you know, callers to call in if he's not understanding the terminology that he's using. So a nice caller calls in and they're having a pretty good conversation where the caller was trying to explain to Ethan the terminology he's using and why it can be seen as offensive, you know. Ethan quite wasn't understanding and it came off as kind of awkward, which in turn made it seem like he was mocking the caller because at one point he did ask the caller what position he preferred and the caller became very uncomfortable and was like, that's none of your business. And then Ethan's like, oh, come on, you know, tell me if I guess right, will you tell me? Oh, I know like what you prefer. And it really set off some backlash because he was just seen as mocking the LGBTQ plus community, uh, making fun of a marginalized group. Not cool at all. So he comes back about, I want to say the next day or two, and you know, he issues an apology. And I had to sit back on the apology and really think about it. And I'm like, is this really an apology? He said he's apologizing after speaking to some friends and some close confidants, and they explained to him why he said it was offensive. So please allow me to show the apology. All right, Ethan says, to my LGBTQ plus fans, I am sorry for comments on today's show. The sexualization of gay men and the grouping of tops and bottoms is a stereotype that I will be trying to unlearn. Apologies to the caller, too, who I shouldn't have pressed inappropriately. Hope you guys know... I always mean well. So at face value, this apology is okay. You know, he's acknowledged that, you know, he was wrong and he hopes to educate himself moving forward. That would have been okay. But then right after the apology, he addresses Keemstar. Please. Keem says, Ethan Klein has lost his mind. Have you guys seen his comments on gay sex? I just watched this T channel for the clips. I, Keemstar, you know, the bad guy, would never say any of this horrible shit. I legitimately was offended and I'm not even gay. For anybody asking for the clips, I don't even know if I should tweet it. It's bad. He was just questioning this guy if he was a top or bottom. And the guy was saying he was uncomfortable. And Ethan was like pushing it and saying shit like, I know why you are. Ethan was basically making fun of him because he's gay. I swear to God, it's so bad. To me, Ethan shouldn't even address this, only because he and Keem have a past. They don't really like each other. And, of course, Keem is probably going to take a shot at him because this is, you know, Ethan's in some backlash right now. He's getting some heat. So this is what Keemstar kind of does. So my opinion is when you apologize, focus on yourself, how you can – forward, how you can educate yourself, how you can be better. This kind of just doesn't seem to work as an apology. An apology should just be about you, no one else, point blank, period. 
So I hope moving forward, if Ethan does get into more scrapes, he probably will. I hope he just sticks to himself and what he can do better and how he can be better. That's it for today. Come back to the marriage soon. I look forward to having you. Don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me